Hey, it's Raleigh from Kamui, and I am your average pool player. This is a video series where I take shots that professionals do on the first try in major tournaments, and I see how many tries it takes me to complete them, and also what I learn along the way, and I try to reason out what I'm doing wrong. This shot is from the finals of the 2016 Derna City Classic. Two of Poole's greatest players, Jason Shaw and Niels Feyen, squared off in a bank event where every shot has to be a called bank shot. In this shot, Jason calls the near side pocket and blasts a perfect three rail bank that changes direction to go into the side pocket with position. I thought it looked insane, so I decided to give it a try. My first attempt, I just tried to hit it straight into the rail without trying to add much spin to the cue ball, but I don't seem to get that nice reverse angle off the second rail. I notice Jason is playing this shot with low left and he's really putting some mustard on it. So I give the same low left and a lot of speed and... Okay, wow, that combination seems to be just about perfect. Well, not exactly perfect as attempt number three shows. Jason is bringing the cue ball over to the right of the table, and right now I'm drawing towards the center of the table, and there's kind of a hole there that I need to avoid. To do that, I have to hit the ball a little further to the left of the center pocket so I can come over to the right. On the fourth shot, I did the opposite of that. And even though it looked kind of cool going into the corner pocket, my stroke looked like garbage, and my stick veered way off to the left, which might explain hitting the point instead of the rail. On attempt number five, I made sure to hit it a little further away from the pocket with low left. Okay, that's just about where I was on attempt two, but the cue ball is moving in the right direction, so that's progress. Now I just need to increase the speed to get the ball to reverse just a little more to make that center pocket. And hey, all right, six attempts to figure that shot out. But once you know the secret, it's actually not that hard to replicate. There is something that I'm not super sure about, so if you know the answer, please comment below. Does adding cue ball spin actually matter, or is it just about the speed that you hit it? As I learned from my first video with Efren's 10 ball shot, spin from the cue ball can transfer onto the object ball. But if I really blast a ball, even with a non-spinning cue ball, it can sometimes bend backwards and do that reverse bang. So really my question is, does the first rail give a speeding object ball its reverse spin, so that when it hits the second rail, it's able to come back and complete the triple bank? Or do you need to add spin to the ball to give it that reverse? Which one is doing the real work here? If you know the answer, please enlighten me. That's it, thanks for watching, and thank you to Society Billiards for letting me film in their wonderful pool hall. If you have any comments or questions or critiques or criticisms or anything, go ahead and leave them below, and I'll try to respond to them as best I can. Uh, thanks, and join us next time.